Hi everyone and welcome back to another vlog. I just wanted to do a catch up vlog because it's been a while since I broke up from uni, since we had our final modules, it's been a few weeks so I just wanted to do a little catch up, what I've been up to and what's next for me. So far I have picked up bank shifts, for those of you who don't know what bank shifts are, those are extra shifts that I work within the NHS to get actual physical real money to pay my bills with <laughs> because we're students, we're broke, we have to work unfortunately. So yes, I do my shifts in sexual health and family planning if you don't already know. I've just picked up all the shifts I can because we're, we've got all this time off now until the first week of September when our placement starts. So I need to get as many shifts as possible now in while I can, ready to start placement in September so I don't have to do any shifts when I'm out there on placement. So this is how I manage, this is how I cope. And so far it's worked for me, but it might not work for everybody. And it is exhausting. It's not fair and it's exhausting, but it's so, so worth it. It's gonna be worth it to get my pin at the end of this degree. Other than that, I've been doing my ACP dissertation, not dissertation, keep saying this. And to be honest, I've made a good start. So I was doing my data extraction tables, for those of you that don't know what ACP dissertation is, it's my dissertation, not dissertation. It's a 4,000 word integrated review. So I have to pick 10 articles to answer the question that I've come up with myself. And then I critically appraise them. And then I present it all in some sort of research type style assignment based thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. I'm sorry. An integrated review. That's what it's called. Um, but I know if someone said that to me and I'd never heard it before, I wouldn't have a clue. I still um, pretty not clued up on it, but I'm getting there. So, so far I have done a bit of everything. So my ACP assignment is uh, a bit all over the place right now and I don't like it because that's not me. I like organisation and I like everything to flow and you just can't with this, unfortunately. So, I have got my 10 articles, I've critically appraised my 10 articles for the strengths and weaknesses in every single one. I've put those strengths and weaknesses in 10 data extraction tables, which has taken me forever. It has drained my soul. I'm not going to lie to you. This drained your soul. And um, it's probably... Uh, and the thing is, okay, scrap what I've just said. It's only because I'm so used to being organised. So I like to... When it's launched, I do it, it's done. I don't leave things to last minute. I don't leave things to the night before. I like it done, but with this, ah, oh, you can't do it. And it's really stressing me out because I can't just do it. I can't just get on with it. It's a really long-winded process. Um, so I'm tearing my hair out with it. And that's purely the only reason why. Other than that, I've really, really enjoyed this. I've really enjoyed getting all the information and looking at the strengths and weaknesses and looking at the results because I was really, that's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in the results of my question because this is a question that I genuinely wanted to know the answer to and the results have shocked me so far. It's not been what I thought, which has been amazing. So yeah, it's been really good. Sorry, I'm going off topic now. It's going to go on forever. So yes, get back to it. So 10 data extraction tables have done. And then I went on to my 10 theming tables because there's a sort of order that you do things in. And so I am trying to follow that order. So I've done my 10 theming tables, which is by far everybody is the easiest. It is the easiest part. Once those data extraction tables, hours of grueling hard work has been done, it's got easy. It took me about an hour to do my theming tables last night. But um, the only thing is, I uh, there's a couple of, I just, I don't know if I'm doing it right. And it's stressing me out because I've done it and I've been like, yeah, this is easy, I've done it. But then I'm questioning myself and I'm doubting myself and I'm like, actually, have I done that right? So I need to go to uni and I need to get some sort of approval from someone and just make sure I'm on track with those and then I'll be happy. And then I've started my abstract. So I've done the um, title bit, I have done the um, started a, a sort of introduction and methods sort of section, left the results section out and the conclusion out because I haven't got to that part fully properly yet. And I have started a proper introduction, but you know where you just, you write something, you think, am I allowed to say that? Are you allowed to put your own thoughts and opinions into this? Because the question for my induction on the um, guide is saying, why are you conducting this research? Why have you chosen to do this? So I'm putting in my own thoughts and feelings about something and I'm not 100% sure that's the right thing to do. And I think I'm going to have to question it and ask somebody about it because I'm a little bit like oh we'll see hopefully I'm on the right track so that's where I'm at at the minute now 
I just have to write it up. I've got 4,000 words to write up and hopefully it's going to go okay. Hopefully it's going to go smoothly. Hopefully I can do this because I'm giving myself a timeline by the end of August before I start my management placement. I want this done. I want it out the way, done, ready to submit. Our submission date isn't until October. I think the end of October, but I want that good time frame so that if there's any last niggling things that I need to add or edit or change I want that time to do it and I'll be happy so fingers crossed pray for me guys the next thing I've been doing which actually was the easiest and quickest of them all was my poster presentation so I wrote my transcript from a poster presentation in it was a day I literally just sat and I wrote it and I was like hmm it's done how did that happen it was literally not even a day. I don't think it even took, it probably took half a day. And I'm really worried now that I've really gone wrong because that was too easy. So I need to go over it, finalise it, make sure it's okay. And then my next step for that is to practice it, make sure I know what I'm saying for the day and get my PowerPoint presentation together because I haven't done that part yet. I've just done the transcript on what I'm going to say, but the rest should be easy from now on for that. So I'm not too worried about that. Thank God. There's one thing that's just not worrying me. And then, so post-presentation, ACPs, pretty much a really good start now. Oh, maths exam. So we had our maths exam last week on the Monday, the 29th of July, we had our maths exam and I wasn't worried about this. Maths isn't a worry of mine, unfortunately. I'm sorry if you do worry and if you do, um, have any dy dyslexia, calca dyslexia, is that what it's called? Calca dyslexia around maths and you really struggle with maths, I'm really sorry. Just make sure you practice. There's a load of free websites to look on. The RCN have got maths, your calculations. You can go on BBC Bite Size, um, BBC Bite Size and what's the other one? I'm sure there's another one. I'll put the links below anyway for you to have a look at if you really struggle with maths and you can have a look and practice. But BBC Bite Size is more sort of GCSE level and it's more fractions, division and all that. There's no drug calculations on there. So if you just want decimals, fractions, division, multiplication, all of that, go to that. And weight conversions, I think, is on there as well, measurements. Have a look at that. But yeah, my maths exam, we sat down and I did feel really nervous. Even though I knew I was going to smash it, I felt really nervous for some reason. So I sat down, I was like, oh, okay, I'm really nervous now. It's always that exam conditions, isn't it? So it makes you more nervous. And sat down and I was like, right, let's go. And then I literally did all my exam in six minutes. I looked at the clock and I was like, oh, six minutes, okay. I'm going to have to check my answers. So I went through, I checked all of my answers. I did all of the equations again to make sure that my answer was correct. And then just on my final check, I went and make sure, made sure that all of the measurements was in. So we get a question wrong, even though if we put the answer right, the number, like let's just say it's 65 millilitres. So if we put 65, but we don't physically write millilitres after it, we get that question wrong, even if the 65 part is right. So I checked it three or four times and I'm happy. I'm... I'm going to I'm going to say 99% confident. I'm not going to go 100%, but I'm 99% confident that I have got 10 out of 10 for that. But we'll see. I'll let you know when the results come in. But I'm leaving that little 1% because I just you never know. Like what I think's right might not be right. I might have got it completely wrong. But in my head, I've got every single one of those questions right. I've got 10 out of 10. I hope I I need 9 out of 10 to pass. So I'm hoping I've got them all right. But I'm, I'm sure I felt really confident when I was doing it. I felt really confident checking my answers two or three times that I've done everything right and it's going to be OK. Fingers crossed. So that is what I've been up to so far. Dissertation, poster, maths exam. So my next steps are in the next couple of weeks, I've picked up more shifts. Like I said, I'm off until September. So I've got shifts coming in. I'm going to finish my dissertation. I'm going to finalise my poster presentation ready for that in September. I can't remember the date of our poster presentation. I think it's the 16th of September, 16th or 18th that week somewhere in between. I've opted to go first because I said I just want it over and done with. So mine's literally the first post presentation of the day because we've got to pick our own times and things like that. So I did that. I said, I need to go first. I want it over with because the, if I'm sat there listening to other people and I'm thinking, oh my God, oh my God, this is amazing. Mine's is rubbish, rubbish, mine is rubbish. But then I suppose on the flip side, I'm going to do my poster presentation and then I'm going to sit down and then I'm going to go, like, oh my God, they're all amazing. And I've just given this rubbish. So either way, I'm probably going to doubt myself on the day. But I think I'll do enough to pass. 
this is the main thing. I just want to pass. I'm not aiming for my first anymore. I was so, you know, I just really wanted that first throughout the first half of this degree. I was aiming for a first. I was like, yes, I'm going to get a first. And I was so focused on that. So I have let it go. And I'm happy that I'm going to get a 2 1 grade. And that's okay doesn't make me less of a nurse, doesn't make me a better nurse if I got a first. Um, either way, I know I'm not going to get first now. There's no way to get two ones amazing. So anyone that gets less than a first, you're amazing. Don't worry about it. Don't stress. You're going to be an amazing nurse. It doesn't matter. As long as you practice safely and you're confident in what you're doing and competent, that's all that matters. Patient safety at the end of the day. A grade doesn't make that. So don't worry but I know everyone has their own personal goals and it is it's going to be amazing getting a first if you are that person getting a first I will be chuffed if I got a first I know I'm not going to get a first so and I'm okay with that so that's it from me guys thank you so much for tuning in as always I will post another vlog this week I'm going to post another one Wednesday I think if you've got the notifications you'll get a notification when I um, post a video that video is just going to be my sponsored video which I do I do a sponsored video every month for nurses.co.uk which is amazing so this one is going to be based around what I wish I knew before I started nursing and if there's any actually if there's anyone out there that's a student nurse now and you want to answer this please comment below what do you wish that you knew before you started this degree what would you tell yourself before starting this degree let me know and I'm going to include it in the video and yeah hopefully we'll get some really good things because it's nice to have different opinions i think rather than just my opinion because my opinion is completely different i think to a lot of people's because i'm so motivated and happy and i just love life some people say i'm not human which is fine it's fine but i am just a genuinely happy motivated person I will get down and, and stress sometimes, but I recover like that like really, really quickly. It would be really, really nice to get different people's opinions. So if you've got anything, please inbox me. Please comment below. However you want to do it, just message me, tell me. So again, that's it from me. Let me know how you're doing in your course. Let me know how you're getting on, what stage you're at, what you've got coming up. Do you need any help with anything? Let me know, comment below. Let's help each other out, guys. Um, and I hope your course, if you've started your journey already, I hope your course is going amazing. I hope you're smashing it. I know there's loads of you out there smashing it because I've been following you on Instagram and it's been amazing to see. And I know there's people that have just got all of the access course certificates as well, which I've been seeing on Instagram, which is amazing. And I've been congratulating you. It's been fantastic. It's been so nice to see. I love seeing people do well. And I'm just so proud, even though I haven't met any of you. I just, I feel really proud for other people. It's amazing. And we should be rooting for each other because it's teamwork. And yeah, so yeah, so comment below. How are you getting on? Are you struggling with anything? Are you doing really well with anything? Let me know. Let's celebrate. Let's help each other out. And I'm going on for way too long, so I'm going to go now. And I shall see you all, well, see you all probably Wednesday for the next vlog. If not, I'll see you Sunday.